you are married and have a wonderful spouse or might be a sweet kid as well. But to score more points in the CRS system, you are wondering if you should apply Canadian permanent residency alone and call your family after you arrive there as dependent permanent resident visas. If this is a good tactic to do, if you should actually do it, will this make any difference? If you decide to do it, what should you do in that case? Everything is covered in this video. Hello guys, this is Shatanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so if you're aware of the CRS point system, you might have seen this chart where it's specifically mentioned that if you apply without a spouse, you have a slight advantage in the points table. So this is the points table for the maximum age, maximum level of education, and the official language proficiency test and the Canadian work experience. You see in each and every point, there's a slight advantage for people who are applying without a spouse. So is this a myth or is there something behind it as well? Let's discover it. So this is the CRS criteria. This is the web page where uh, the CRS tables are listed. I took the screenshot from uh, this page only. So if you just uh, scroll down, you'll be, you'll be able to find that there is certainly some difference uh, between the spouse, if you apply with the spouse or without the spouse. Uh, if you apply with the spouse, there are some points uh, lesser which you'll actually get. Okay, let's scroll down further. In the education field also, you'll get lesser points if you apply with a spouse. I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, because they do have a special points for spouses. So for your spouse, if your spouse has, a, has got a bachelor degree, in that case, you would get eight additional points. So somehow these eight points actually match up uh, with these points here, you see. Uh, if you do have a spouse with the same education, you actually match up with the uh, without the spouse, as a score without the spouse. So um, this is the case. Let's just uh, check this out through a demonstration. So here in this case, this is just an example that I've just tried uh, here. Uh, of course, the marital status is married. Will your spouse or common law partner come with you to Canada? No. What I've taken here is that uh, this is the first case of no and the second case I've taken it as yes. So if you decide to travel alone or apply the PR alone, in that case, uh, I've just given the age as 30, uh, the education as bachelor's degree and uh, the IELTS as CLB 9 and similarly other details as well. In that case, the CIS total is 424. Now please don't say that it is it doesn't still make it to 440 because this is just an example that I've set here. This is so this is 424. Let's now see the difference if you apply with the spouse. So here you do apply with the spouse. This is the uh, example with the spouse and I've kept everything else the same. So 30 years of age, bachelor's degree and uh, the same score for IELTS CLB 9 similarly the same work experience as well but now here because you are immigrating with your spouse then uh, the details for spouse will also be asked so here the details are given I've given the score as uh, CLB 9 for spouse as well let's see what is the score so in that case you get 426 which is actually two points more than what you get without the spouse. So in a way you can say that this is a myth that uh, if you apply with the uh, without the spouse you get more points. 
but now let's just drill down further and just see uh, how does this actually differ if I change uh, the listening from 7 to uh, from 8 to 7.5 that means it's a CLB 8 in that case two points get deducted but which does not make a huge difference because it is still equal to um, if you're applying you know without these spouse okay now let's check out the education uh, spouses education so this is the uh, spouses education I've selected it as bachelors if I actually you know reduce it I mean this will be obviously the individual cases so if I actually reduce it then it gets deducted to 423 still not much of a difference but if I actually uh, reduce it further in that case even even only one marks gets deducted so you see that there isn't a huge difference if in case uh, you're actually applying with your um, with your spouse let's see another case here let me just reduce this thing to 6 and 6 to 7, 6 points, 6 to 7, 6 here again, let's say 6 here again. Very basic score. This is for the spouse. In that case, you it does get reduced. So there are certain cases uh, which in which you're, uh, you won't get many points for your spouse. But if yes, if your spouse has also got a good education and uh, if he or she can score CLB 9 or even closer to CLB 9, you know, it won't make much of a difference. So I hope that uh, this, this concept of uh, lesser marks or lesser score for, um, for if you apply without the spouse is a bit clearer to you now. Okay, now when you know that you should apply alone or not now the question is if you do want to apply can you apply the PR alone yes you can but you should have a valid reason of why your spouse or family is not migrating with you it might be a case that your spouse is studying somewhere and he or she needs to complete his education his or her education so that is a valid point it might be your spouse is working somewhere, have a contract and that cannot be breached for a couple of years. So that, that is also a valid reason. Might be uh, your wife is pregnant and uh, you don't want her to fly to Canada during her pregnancy period. Or might be you have a infant or a small kid and you don't want uh, him or her to expose to the Canadian weather. I mean, reasons like that they can be numerous reasons but there should be a valid reason that could that should convince the immigration officer about the uh, uh, why your spouse is not accompanying you you should be able to convince the uh, immigration officer actually the investigating officer that you're not uh, taking your spouse or your ki kid along with you just not because of uh, the points it's a thing but there's a valid reason behind it because they're pretty sure that you would definitely be calling them sooner or later so guys i just want to deliver this message to you through this video see i saw so many comments on uh, this point and uh, so i just wanted to make a video around this so thank you for watching this video please do like the video if you really liked it and share it with your friends also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.